Okay, so welcome back to this channel. So in my previous video, I have shown you a complete demo of the project that we are going to build in XJS 13. So in this video, I will start working on my project. So let's start it. I simply create a new terminal here. You can see that this is an empty folder with the name by it now, which is the name of the project. So I simply type here npx create dash next dash app at latest and dot and dot will give the name of the directory to the project. And if you have not watched my previous video on Next.js 13, in which I have given a complete overview of Next.js 13, so make sure to watch that. I will add the link of that video in the description of this video. Make sure to watch that and then come back. So now let's create our project. Type here yes. No. Uh, no. Um, type here no. Then yes. Um, and type here enter okay so project is created successfully now i simply set up my tailwind and to set up the tailwind i go back to my chrome i am here on the documentation of next.js 13 so you can see that under the styling we have this tailwind css okay so first of all we have to install some dependencies this tailwind css post css and auto prefixer so i simply copy that from here okay and install these packages and go back and paste it here Okay, so now packages are installed successfully. I simply go back. Now I have to initialize the Tailwind project. So I use here npx Tailwind CSS init dash p that will create the uh, Tailwind files, which is tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js. And you can also create that manually if you want. So what I do is I simply copy this from here, copy that, and I go back and put that here. And you can see that it has created two files this tailwind.config.js and also this uh, postcss.config.js so in the tailwind.config.js we have uh, sorry here it is so in that we have to pass in the content the paths of the uh, file in which we want to use tailwind okay so i simply go back and here i have to pass these values in this uh, content array so we have our styling in the components in the pages and then the app folder which is the new folder in next.js 13 okay if you are using the source directory you can also add that but i will add these three lines so i copy that from here go back and put that here simply save this one after that we have this post css.config.js and in that we have to add uh, nothing okay so i simply go back and if I scroll down, we have to add these styles in our global.css, which is in the app directory. So I copy these from here, copy that and go back and I go in the app in the global.css and I remove all the styles from here and add only these three uh, styles for the tailwind. So after that, I go back and I think so we are done. We just have to import this global.css in the layout and then we have to uh, use the class and if i go back in the layout.js you can see that it is automatically uh, imported there so now um, let's test it out i create a simple uh, page here so page.jsx and i will add here like home page and let's use one css class which is this one just to check it out that our styling is added successfully so I copy that from here and I put that here. Simply so save this one and now I type here npm run dev to start my project. And then I go back and type here this. And you can see that our tailwind.css is added successfully here. And now we have to first of all connect to our database. And this project I will use MongoDB um, as the database. If I increase uh, decrease the size one excel you can see that um, it is decreased here so our tailwind is added so now let's connect our database i close all these files so close all and i create a new folder in the root that is named with with the name backend so i put all my code of backend in this folder and in that i create a new folder that is config in the config i create a new file that is db connect.js okay and here first of all you have to install the npm i mongoose i will install that and i simply type here import mongoose from 
mongoose and then db connect i simply check that if mongoose dot connection dot ready state is greater than equal to one then we will simply return from here and else we have to connect our database so simply type here mongoose dot connect and the connect i have to pass in the connection uri that is process dot env dot db uh, underscore uri okay so i copy that from here i have to add that in the next dot config.js file here i will add a new field with the name env and set that here so that is going to be mongodb localhost port 27017 the um, database name is going to be buy it now okay so make sure that you have installed the mongodb community server and also the mongodb compass in your computer okay simply save this one and now simply save this one as so i type here npm run dev and then also i type here export default db connect that we will import in our uh, files so now we have successfully added the code to connect to our database we have also set up our tailwind now let's create our first endpoint that will create new product and save that in the database and before that we have to create the model of the product so i simply go to the backend create a new folder that is called model or models in that i create a new file that is product dot js okay i move it down so if you simply import here mongoose then I create a schema here that is product schema so schema is just like the structure of the product that we are going to create in our Mongo, mongodb database so dot schema i hope that you know the basics of mongodb now in that in mongoose dot schema we have to pass all the fields that we want to create for the product so first of all this is the name of the product so the type is going to be definitely string and then required i type here true okay and i can also add here an array and I also add a message that please enter product name okay so i copy that from here next we have the um description then we have here the price so please enter the descri product description then please enter the product price and that is going to be a uh, number okay and then the after price we have the uh, images of the product okay so i type here images that is going to be an array of object that contains first of all the public id we will uh, handle the images later but definitely we have to add that in the model so i type here uh, type that is going to be string okay and then we have here uh, the url of that image so id and then the url of that image and we will use cloudinary to host our images simply save this one and after images we have the category of the product so i simply type here category type is going to be string required is going to be true and i simply copy that from here please enter product category and then I also add a enum here to make sure that you select only uh, oops you just select only these categories so enum in that I will pass the values okay so values is going to be an array of all the categories so I simply copy that just to save some time so these are the categories that we will allow user you can definitely add more if you want and then uh, for this array I will add a message that please select correct category okay and then after the category we have uh, copy this from here 
after the category we have oops category we have seller and then we have here um, the stock of the product so um, this is required so please enter product seller and then stock uh, is also required so please enter product stock and then after seller and stock we also have the ratings of the product so ratings is also going to be number so I copy that so the ratings that is going to be number and it is not required so I add a default value here so default is going to be zero and then after the rating we have the reviews so reviews you can also create a separate model for reviews but I will add an array uh, in the product so review will contain first of all the user but we don't have user here so I will add that later for now I will just add here rating so rating is going to be type number and then required to true okay so we will add the user once we implement the authentication so after the ratings we have the comment okay and the comment is going to be string okay and then I will add a field here that is created created at so type is going to be date and then default value is going to be date dot now simply save this one and after the reviews I also have created add for the product so we'll add that here and also we have to add the user but we will add the user once we have uh, once we implement the pagination oh sorry authentication simply save this one and after that we have to simply export the model so I simply type here export default export default mongoose dot models we will check that if models has the product then we will use that otherwise we will use mongoose dot model and we will pass in here the name of the model that is going to be product and then we will pass in here the product schema simply save this one and i think so our model is ready so now let's create our in the back end create a new folder that is controllers in that i get the first controller that is product controller controllers.js in here i will first of all import the product from the uh, models slash product and then i will get a first function here that is export const new product that is going to be an async oops that will contain the request response and then the next in that i will simply type here const product is going to be await product dot create and the create we will pass the uh, request dot body then res dot status of 200 dot json and we will pass in here the product that is created and now i have to create the route for this product and for that i will use a package that is called next connect and this is optional if you don't want to use that you can skip it you can skip it and use the default uh, code but i will use the next connect if i go to my chrome you can see that this is a package which is quite popular and this is very uh, useful package to manage all our routing so i will use this one okay so it will make our code much more cleaner than the default one so I simply install this package from here and install that so this one install it okay so package installed successfully i simply restart my server and now let's go to our pages and in the api i will delete this folder uh, sorry file which is hello.js and the api create a new folder that is products so that is going to be slash api slash products okay in that i create a new file that is uh, index.js so simply i import here nc from uh, the next connect that I have just installed then I will import my DB connect so DB connect from backend config DB connect and then I will simply uh, type here DB connect to connect to my database and then 
I will create here uh, the handler for it I simply type here const handler is equal to nc that we have imported from next connect and in that we can simply pass in here uh, different middlewares so we will add here the error middleware in the future so now I simply type here handler dot get oh, sorry dot post because this is a post request and I will pass in here uh, the name of the uh, controller function that is new product that we have import from the controller product controllers okay now if I simply save this one open my postman and then here I simply type here HTTP localhost port 3000 slash API slash products and this is a post request in the body I go in the row then in the JSON I will paste this object and let me actually also put that here I create a new folder in the root so you can also access that data so I type here data in that I will add here a new file that is product.json so you will get that in my git repo I will also add that product here okay if you want to test it out all right so I simply go back and if I click on send you will see that we get here some error um, I go to my VS code let me check the error first and we have to just export here the default um, handler okay so if I simply save this one and go back to my post and also we have this warning here for the from mongoose that we have to add this line so what I do is I simply copy this from here mongoose.set strict query to false I go on the back end in the config and I just add that here okay so I simply restart my server once and now let's test our code I go back to my postman click on send you can see that the product is created successfully here and saved in the database we have here our id okay so images array is empty reviews array is empty everything is here and now in my next video i will um, create an endpoint to get all the products and display all the products on my home page uh, on the front end okay so if you have any question uh, related to this video you can post that in the comment section i will definitely reply there and also you can get the source code in the description of this video and i will see you in the next video